Hello there everyone, this is Iron Mark III, and welcome back to Factorio. Oh, I just lost a wall. I couldn't save it. No, my poor wall. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, for this particular video, I'm going to be slamming together... Well, stuff, basically. I need to get um, more steel in a kind of urgent situation kind of thing, because I need it for the bullets. Just lost the turret. Hooray. I'm also going to slap down some other bottoms and ends just to try and keep this factory going. And I'll probably talk your ear off again. So, just a bit of warning there. It's probably not going to be that pleasant. <laughs> As if you needed a warning for that. One, two, three. One, one, one. Okay. Wait, I'm putting down the wrong things. Darn it. I meant to put down the air filters here because this corner is where I want to slot in another air filter set. Actually, why am I doing it this way? I could do it over this way, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do it like this. One, two, three. One, one. One, 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 one. Okay, like that. And then I'll just put down a nice little factory over there. Oh, I need a blue insert as well. Whoopsie. And one. Okay, yeah. Right. This is just going to be a quick little filter plant, just to clean up the air in this particular section. As it, it does need it. What am I losing now? More turrets. Arg. Anyway. I'm tr I know I'm tr trying a bit too hard. I'm not the most in interesting person in the world. So this is just going to be... Let's go and do this kind of thing. I just hope my turrets aren't too badly messed up. Not really, but it's the lack of ammo, I think, that's hurting them more than anything else. Hmm. Oh, there's plenty of ammo over here. They're just getting it too badly battered, is the main problem. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. But yeah, this is going to be an ep episode about... Um, I'm going to do something I wouldn't normally do. Which is, I'm not going to build some elaborate, massively complicated system kind of thing. I mean, that's what I normally do, and it normally takes an age and a half for me to do much of anything. I admit that. Don't need the factory, so I'll move them over there. I will be needing the furnaces, though, so I'll move those back. But I've gathered all the parts I need, and this is going to be a case of slapping out a new system for processing steel, because I do need the steel rather badly, and I've got those backwards. Uh, what, what do I do? I don't need that one there. I need that one up there. <laughs> Are you ready for confusion? No, I need that there. I just need one there, and I need one up here, like so. Yeah, okay, I think this will do it. Those two are unloading, those two are lo loading, so this machine will do fine. It does need to have access to a flow of things, though. Those will unload, 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 unload. Okay, yeah, that's all fine. Now you, I want you to just do recycling, and then I'll, I'll preload you with the 15 I've already got. Oh, okay, that's a problem. There we go. That'll keep everything loaded and happy over here, which should help reduce pollution a bit further. That war's under attack again. Anyway, since I need steel kind of fast, and I keep having to go, I keep after going over here just to clean out bugs trying to get through it. Not the best. Lost another wall. I never bother to fix it either, so it collapses quite easily. But I need steel. So that's why I've got all of my parts ready, and I'm going to just slam out a steel line. It's not going to be big and elaborate and complex, as I said. I'm going to have to dig it through this section, just to get it past the existing lines. But it's going to be relatively fast to set up, I suppose. What's blown up now? Oh, it's another another wall over there. 
Okay, that area is popular. I need to get some turrets over here. Like, sharpish. Because it just keeps getting occasional attackers and I, have to, I keep having to go back and uh, do something about it. Hmm. Not, not ideal. Not ideal at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split a line here. And this will be an ammo line. Just like that. So that'll do for now. This will be a steel line. This will be a coal line. Like that. Yep, like that. That's fine. Nope, that's just a turret under attack. No problems there. I might as well plug this inserter back in. Just to start building up a steel reserve again. Now, this is just going to be a case of building long. Need one there. Need a row there. Which means I need to actually rearrange this split here as well. Ah. Oh, my tools went out. <laughs> Perfect timing. And I need a bit of steel, so I'll just grab it from my little chest there. I've finally run out of iron tools, so it's time high time I was upgrading to steel tools anyway. There we go. Right. He says this is a simple, very quick, very simple slam it out kind of deal, but it it's not doing it, is he? Why am I talking about third person? I, I am I am he. I am he who must not be named. I've also messed this up again. Uh, okay. I need to get steel down here. I need to get a separate coal feed. So I need a tunnel. Like that. I'm not even bothering to straighten out anything I don't need to straighten out. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. Sulfur processing. I need batteries off you now. Thank you. Because right now I'm just trying to get this entire thing up and going in the shortest possible time. And that section is under attack again. Hooray. So here we go. This is the um, mixed line. There's been a breach. That's a coal line. I need to go and shoot things. Oh, they've gone that way. Get back here. They didn't kill anything, did they? No, they did not. There's still more coming. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. The other part of this episode was going to be running around installing guns. But it seems I need to do that sooner rather than later. Well, at least for this section. So I wasn't planning to do this straight away, but, you know. You've got to. Because this section is just dying too much. And I keep having to stop to deal with it. There we go. Okay. Guns. That'll do, and I need to build the inserters for it as well. Yep. Might as well just lay down this thing to double wall, because aliens like to come in through this section. <laughs> it's kind of annoying like that. Too many... <coughs> excuse me. Too many aliens. Not enough things to make them go away. <laughs> That's the general problem, I think. Actually, I need that one there anyway. Okay. Right. Just need to plug this section in, and it'll be good. At least for now. The guns will start taking some hits. But there's nothing I can do about that. Where am I out of... Oh. I also need um, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15. I forgot to start making the inserters for my steel section. I could gather all the, the other stuff that I needed, but I didn't actually have the inserters ready to go. I've got enough materials to make this entire section 15 long. And also not future-proofing it by spacing it out like I did the others. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 2, 3, 4... Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... That should do it. 
See what I mean about just slamming it out, can't you? I'm going to have to tear down this entire section at some point because of how it's been arranged. But, eh. It's just a straight line assembly and that's something I wouldn't normally do. That wasn't a tax symbol I saw up here, wasn't it? I think it was. Hmm. But anyway. Wait, I'm building 15. I need... One, two, three rows. I need 45. Darn it. Okay, strip to the steel mill. Strip to the... <laughs> what am I doing? Trip to the steel mill. Yeah. Try saying things properly, you idiot. And 15, what am I out of now? Copper. Okay, copper, 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 copper. Here we go, copper. Just a few stacks of that. My factory is holding now. It's not as steady as what before, it's not crazy. It's not doing anything like that. And I apologise, because this video, I have actually been focused on what I'm doing. Rather than... You know, trying to uh, make it interesting or trying to talk about something else. I, I did have something I was planning to talk about for this video, but this quick and easy solution to my steel problems is actually been taking my attention along with the... What, what blew up? What blew up? What blew up? A turret blew up. Great. Well, there's still, there is an active turret over there, so it should be okay. He says, crossing his fingers. At least it's not as easily breached as it was before. What blew up over there? Another turret. Ah. I seriously need to make an upgrade to some heavier turrets as well. What blew up? Nothing. It was just... It was just that alert hadn't gone yet. Okay. That's fine. As soon as I can get all this stuff hooked up... I should be in a better position. Yeah, you can see how neat this thing is, can't you? But it's just going to keep this entire thing running. Now, the, the big problem is... I need to have yellows along here as well, which means it's all doubled up. That's not the space, and that's why I was building some medium poles earlier. Though I ran out of steel on them. Fair enough. I'm going to use medium poles because the only way to do this really is to dig underneath the lines. I was hoping to avoid doing that. But there isn't any way around it. And then I'll just whack a steel pole, a small steel, that's not a steel pole, a small pole over there and just have to tunnel it. Okay, batteries, excellent. What's next? I can go for the robots, or I can go for the laser turrets. I think laser turrets might be a good idea. But, you know what, I'm going to go for robotics. That'll let me start making some construction robots and things. But the thing is, th this sim the system was um, a lot less fiddly to set up once I got past the initial tangle of lines. I can just extend it now, when I need it. And it's already increased my output by something like between 100 and 150% for steel. Which can only be to the good, considering how much steel has been stretched just trying to give me ammo and failing. You know, could be a lot worse. That's right. Go, my pitties. All, a lot more of my factories now firing up for the uh, ammo production, which is excellent. Maybe I won't actually need um, to be losing so many turrets from now on. Fingers crossed, one can dream, you know. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. Yeah, I lost the two turrets that didn't have any ammo in them. 
which is unfortunate, but it's what I was expecting when I came over here. They just couldn't protect themselves. That section over there is under attack again. Fine. Now, for the last five minutes, it's just going to be placing turrets along the walls, basically. So, I know, riveting stuff, but it's got to be done. Now, I mentioned that um, I wasn't expecting to, you know, I wasn't expecting to build a refinery in that particular pattern. Oh, I'm going to have to do a split. Uh, hello. That turret's going to die. Not it's anymore, it's not, because I've just replaced... Well, I didn't replace it, I just shot the stuff that was shooting at it. Hmm. This turret down here, I can't load it. So I'm just going to have to ignore it. But yeah, I mentioned that uh, the steel mill was... That's not the way I normally do things. And that was related to my intended topic for the day. I um, don't think there's actually time for that topic anymore. So I'm, I'm going to have to, you know, skip it and save it for next time. Unfortunately. Wow, that section over there is really popular, isn't it? There we go. That entire line's on. I was going to start talking about um, a game I've recently been playing. What's... Why is a trap blown up? Where is a trap blown up, more importantly? Because it was a yellow track. And the yellow tracks are... Not near this wall section. That means they're somewhere else. What's going on? Those walls completely chewed up. Lost some... Oh, there's... It's down there. There's a gap in the ammo lines down there. Okay, fine. I have to just run over and fix that really quickly. The last thing I need is to be running short on ammo in any of my guns right now. Even if I have just upped the supply, it's pointless if it doesn't actually reach the guns it's intended for. I was, I was going to talk about a game that I've been playing of late. It's just unfortunate that it's wound up being... Oh, I see. It's because there's a, a gap in the turret defences here. There we go. Yeah, it, I was going to talk about a game I've started playing recently. It's um, it's not Battlefleet Gothic again, since I've been I've been talking your ears off about that a lot lately. I, I freely admit that. Might as well make some repair packs while I'm here. Something blew up. What blew up? I'm under a major attack from the north. Okay, let's see. Big attack from there. Big attack from there. Pollution is a lot lower than it was, and a lot smaller area. But the attacks are still coming strong. Well, they're nothing like as strong as they were. But I have beefed up my defences a bit as well, so that's partly responsible for it. Okay, what's blown up now? Turret. Actually, this 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 system is slightly flawed because some of the stuff is off, and um, my power levels are dropping again. Hmm. I'm just going to make the system into a loop. It should ensure that the um, filters get into the appropriate machines, and with this, it'll very quickly pick off any used filters from the line. So yeah, that that should help it keep running a bit better. Which I've noticed is a slight issue with it. Oh. I'm also going to slow the track down there so that these inserts have more of a chance to grab things. Because that seems to be another issue. The, the red belts are a bit too fast for the yellow inserters sometimes, if there's not a lot of stuff on them. So yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. And I'll talk about this game I've been playing during the next video. I'm sorry if I've been... Um, wandering a bit on my attention and stuff like that. But I just couldn't really help it. At least my base is a bit more secure now, and it's, I've got reliable steel production. Finally. <laughs> I mean, that complex setup was all well and good, but it's a pain to get set up, so I was actually delaying trying to... Ooh, what's going on up here? 
I need more storage tanks, it seems. Because these ones are full of light and heavy oil. And I've got 2,000 plastic. I want more plastic. These walls are holding just great now, since they're fully stocked. They are fully stocked, aren't they? Yes, ammo's backing up. Ammo's backing up quite a long way, so yeah, those are fully stocked. But I want more plastic, so I'm just going to drop a couple more storage containers in here. And get things going again. Yay! I am producing more stuff, though. I am going to have to rework that again at some point. That was only ever temporary. What's going on up there? Oh. Damn it, 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 damn it. This entire section is under attack. And the guns are not loaded. I wandered off without loading them. That is a big attack, actually. And there is also some stuff going on as well. Hmm. That was a pretty major attack. I'm kind of surprised because I've not had any attacks come through to that area. So I think they actually went and prioritised the uh, gun turrets. Which is... I should have I should have seen it coming because they've done it, that kind of thing before. But you know, it still kind of sucks. Oh dear. Anyway, yeah. That actually draws this episode to a close. So... This is Iron Mark III. I hope I didn't bore you too much with this... <laughs> this video focus on what I'm doing rather than what I've been doing in other things and what I want to do with stuff in general and all that kind of thing which I tend to talk about these days. So yeah, I'm not sure which gear is correct but since it's just this is just casual play, it, it's one way or the other, you know. Doesn't really matter that much. Why is that turret down again? Yeah. Oh, it's because it's, it's struggling to load it. Maybe I should mix in yellows with these lines. That m or re replace them with yellows completely. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a quandary, that. But yeah. So I'm Mark Fee. Thanks for watching again. <laughs> Sorry for saying that twice. And I'll catch you some other time. Hopefully when I'm a bit less uh, distracted. I'll see you later.